The movie starts from a local show and the villagers were enjoying it. In The Villagers, a child is also depicted, and his father is portrayed as a hero in this drama. During the drama the firecrackers catch fire. Due to the fire, there was a blast. Everything was burned. The kid shown in the start is shown burnt in this fire. The scene of the movie cuts and a new show is shown in the present. The people were told the precautions to be saved from the thunder. The main character of the movie Jason is shown. Jason works in his village as a tailor but he wants to go to America. He also wants to get married to a girl from his village. But her parents don't want her to get married to Jason and he goes to make them agree in the get-up of Santa Claus. As the girl's father discovers there is Jason as Santa he moves forward to harm him. Before he harms him thunder falls on Jason from the sky. A man is also shown and the thunder is falling at him at the same time. His name is Shibu and Jason was taken to the hospital immediately. The doctors were shocked as they reached the hospital because he wasn't harmed according to the density of the thunder. On another side, Shibu is shown and the thunder has fallen at him. He becomes fine without any first aid. As Shibu awoke his body was shivering. Because of his body shivering his house was shaking like there is an earthquake. This is indicating that there were some powers in Shibu. Maybe because of that fallen thunder. Jason's doctor was telling the thunder didn't harm him as Jason stands up from his stretcher his stretcher was also bent. Reaching home, it is shown Jason is getting ready to go to America with his sister's support. He meets his friend Bruce Lee for this, she was the teacher of Jason's nephew. Jason is shown sick and was coughing. A silver mucus was emerging from his cough. Jason awakes being panicked at night as he opens the window because of his powers the door breaks and falls down. Jason was hearing the voice of water dropping from a far distance. He says to his nephew that maybe a tap is open. He goes to close the tab the door of the washroom also breaks when he was opening it. The tab also breaks when he was closing the tab. Shibu is shown the silver mucus is shown emerging from Shibu's mouth like Jason. The next day, Jason is shown eating the whole food of his home while feeling hungry. There was no food left for his brother-in-law because he had eaten it all. There was a fight in their house because of it. As Jason hits his brother-in-law falls at a distance and there was a hole in the wall. Jason's nephew realizes that Jason has superpowers. He tells Jason about the superpowers and superheroes. They decide they will check which superpowers do Jason has. On another side, Shibu has also discovered his superpowers. He has the power to control things through the mind. Jason has many powers even he can hear the voices from a far distance. He has got fighting powers but didn't get the power to control things through the mind. Jason collects some gifts for his sister and nephew while using his powers. Jason's friend Bruce Lee tells him that his visa for America is rejected. Shibu is shown and it is discovered he has a friend in the past. He wanted to get married to her but he couldn't. After getting superpowers Shibu meets his friend and discovers she got divorced. But his brothers want to get her married to someone else. Shibu's friend's daughter, Asha, faints during this. They take her to the hospital. Jason is shown in the police station. His visa application was denied because his father's name on his birth and school certificates had been changed. Jason says that was just a misunderstanding. The police officer tells him the truth. Jason's story is discovered here actually. The kid shown at the start of the movie was Jason. His father died in that accident. Jason has lost his memory in that accident. Now Jason was brought up by his stepfather. Jason was shocked hearing all this and Usha's daughter is shown. She was sick and her operation was compulsory. Shibu says Usha I will arrange money somehow. Jason is shown at his home. His stepfather tells him his father wasn't just the drama hero on that day he was a real hero because he has saved everyone on that day while putting his life in danger. But he died. He also gives Jason a box in which there were things of his father. Jason finds his name from that box that his name was Minal Morali. He notices his stepfather gets injured and it was done by the police officer. Jason wanted to marry his daughter. Jason goes to the show to take revenge they were the security in charge of the show he hits the police officer in a bird's costume. He leaves while writing his name Minal Morali. He does a bank robbery while wearing a jute's mask. 
Just to give money to his friend Yu Shereqing the hospital, he discovers the bill was already paid. Two crimes happened that night in the village. The crime's doers were having masks on their faces. They think there is just a powerful man who has done these crimes. The man whose name is Minil Morali. Even the second crime was done by Shibu but none knows about this. Jason's brother-in-law who is a police officer discovers Minil Morali as his own brother. Because he has seen many powers in him before, he also sees Jason's mask at his home. He was running from there just to make him caught. Jason chases his car and was running speedily it means he has the superpower to run speedily. He takes his clothes out while stopping his van, he has gone on a bus to escape. Actually, this was his friend's wedding bus. Jason's brother-in-law believes Jason is responsible for the bank robbery. Jason has robbed money from their tailor shop. The amount Jason has placed to go to America. But the money was stolen by Usha's brother, he has to do the treatment of his sister's daughter. The bank robbery was done by Shibu but everyone thinks Jason is more powerful and none knows Shibu so that's why Jason was responsible for all this. Now because Jason's money was stolen and he knew who has stolen the money he starts fighting with his worker. Because he needs the money and his stepfather makes him understand that he shouldn't do this. As he was their old worker he asks Jason to apologize to him. Usha's brother is shown at Jason's tailor shop. Jason has to come to him for apologizing. Before it, Shibu arrives and asks him while giving him money to give it to Jason. Marry your sister with me in return for the money but Usha's brother refuses due to it. Shibu ends him while using his powers through scissors. He even sets the shop on fire while coming out. Everyone was thinking Jason has set this shop on fire because Jason has to come to this shop for apologizing to Usha's brother. Jason's brother-in-law suspects him because Minil Morali was written outside the shop. Everyone was considering Jason wrong but a man has seen Shibu while doing this. He has seen Shibu while using powers, being scared, he was leaving the village. Even then he asks the villagers to leave the village. He says there will be a huge problem, do care about your lives. The police officer says to Jason's brother-in-law that Jason could end the man while taking him somewhere else. Why would Jason will burnt his shop himself? Being worried about all this Jason goes to his friend Bruce Lee. He tells her with his nephew that actually I am Minil Morali. But those evil tasks aren't done by me. He confesses that yes, I have ended those police officers that day Bruce Lee forbids him to be worried. She says I am with you. The police officer hangs a huge bell in between the village. The villagers were asked to ring the bell if they will see Minil Morali. On another side, the man is seen in the CCTV footage of the next door shop of Jason who burnt his shop. They were seeing the CCTV footage in the police station meanwhile, Shibu arrives in Jute's mask. He comes to take the CCTV footage even Jason was standing there without a mask. They consider Jason innocent and they discover Minil Morali as someone else. The police officer points guns at Shibu but he throws the guns with his powers. He runs while taking the footage and Jason was also behind him to take the CD from him while hiding his face. Because that CD was his proof, while running, they reach a bus. Shibu breaks the CD and the bus driver dies during their fight. The bus was on the verge of crashing down a mountain because it had lost control. Jason saves the bus and the passengers, he writes the real Minil Morali on the bus. None knows his name but the people discover there are two Minil Morali. One is doing good tasks and the other is doing evil tasks. Shibu is shown he was about to marry his friend Usha. He ends the man who was about to be Usha's second husband. He writes on the car like Jason the real Minil Morali. It is discovered here because of the fight they know their reality. Jason and Shibu meet each other in their real state. He asks Jason if he will help him to marry Usha he will leave the village. Jason says how will I prove that I haven't done any evil task? I didn't murder the man or didn't rob the bank. They were talking meanwhile, the bell of the village rings. The bell they placed to search for Minil Muralith man is shown who has seen Shibu setting the shop on fire. He has told the police the real Minil Morali as Shibu. As the people were throwing stones at him he places the stone in the air while using his mind and powers. Jason's brother-in-law has also arrested him. 
Shibu has been disappeared from the crowd and was about to flee from the village. The villagers gathered there because they don't want to let Shibu run from there. Shibu was running from his house but noticed Usha is in his house. Shibu becomes happy but the villagers set his house on fire. Shibu was out of the house and he escaped even his friend Usha and her sister died. Now he wants to end the village being furious in the same way his friend died. It means with fire. The police are also shown while stopping Shibu. They know that Shibu will take revenge. Shibu has placed many bombs in a crowd. Because of it, there was fire everywhere the police officers come to Jason and say we don't know what powers do you have or what can you do. But please save our village from Shibu somehow. They want to put Jason out of the jail soon but the keys were missing. Jason comes out while breaking the gate with his hand. Jason reaches there in his new made Superman costume the place that was set on fire. The fight starts between Jason and Shibu. Shibu has the power to control the mind and Jason didn't Jason was about to lose. He starts making Shibu understand while leaving the fight. He says to leave the villagers what have they done to you? Shibu says my friend Usha also hasn't done anything bad to anyone. I also haven't done bad to anyone. Why I have got this punishment? Shibu beats Jason a lot being furious. Jason's powers were less that's why he was losing. Jason hits Shibu and he falls on the land. He remembers the time of childhood when his village was set on fire. His father saved everyone. Now he also got the powers to control things with the mind. Now he will save everything with his powers like his father. After being powerful Jason moves forward while picking a huge spear. He ends him while stabbing it in him. Now the villagers also know that the real Minel Morali is Jason. The movie ends with this narration. That I will never move to America. Instead, I will remain in my community and defend it. I am given the superpowers to protect everyone. There will be problems here. I'll deal with the problems as they arise. With it, the movie ends here.